In this session, we're going to continue our quest to determine is the chemical equation balanced. We've already talked about the law of conservation of mass. We looked at a basic example. Now we want to be able to deal with these crazy parentheses over here. What this means is that we have one calcium atom and we have this OH group which is attached in two different places to that calcium group. So if we were to look at how many there are, there would be one calcium. Oxygen has an invisible number one down here is a subscript. One times two would give us two. Hydrogen also has an invisible subscript down here. One times two, which would give us two. So what would we envision that that might look like? It would look something like this. You see this kind of matches up to what we have in our representation here. This molecule has one calcium. It has one, two oxygen, just as we indicated, and one, two hydrogen. If we were to put a coefficient in the front, let's say three, now that would change our numbers. So we would have to get rid of those. And it would be just like bringing in three of these molecules. So when we talk about calcium, there's an invisible number one here. One, calcium is not inside any parentheses, so we don't have to worry about the parentheses. One times three, there are three calcium. Oxygen has an invisible subscript of one. It is inside parentheses, so we have to deal with the parentheses. One times two is two. And then we have a coefficient in the front, so we have to deal with that coefficient as well. Times three, so one times two times three equals six. Now let's confirm that that makes sense with what we're seeing down here. Are there six oxygen molecules? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly what we're seeing. And finally, the hydrogen. We have a one. Is it inside parentheses? Yes, we have to deal with the parentheses. One times two is two. And we have the three in the front times three is six. So the questions we could ask in this example right here without the chemical equations just about this molecule uh, that we have right here. How many elements are there in this molecule? Okay, how many elements? The number of elements. We have, Remember if we talk about elements we have to be able to list them. One, two, three. There are three elements. How many atoms in total in this expression, 3COOH2. How many atoms in total? 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 6 is 15. So total number of atoms is 15. How many molecules do we have? When we ask about molecules, we're going to refer to the coefficient. We have 1, 2, 3, total molecules, just as that coefficient indicates. So there are three molecules. Now we should be ready to tackle one of the big boys.